Now with a report on infant asphyxia. Here's our reporter, Laura Windsor. Roger, oxygen deprivation during or just prior to delivery can cause severe neurological damage and a requirement for lifelong care. Dr. William Liu of Lee Memorial Health System tells us about a breakthrough technology called whole body cooling that offers hope. Whole body cooling is probably the latest in a series of medical advancements targeting neural protection for asphyxia. And it's a, it's a technology that really is uh, present in the adult world and a lot of the research trans initially translated through animal research has surfaced with good clinical evidence in the neonatal world. And uh, it's only recently we've started to initiate in the community-based centers uh, an initiative called whole body hypothermia. And it's based upon a lot of clinical research, uh, largely through the NICHD, that has looked at uh, studies, randomized clinical trials, that have looked at babies who are asphyxiated. And they're finding that babies who are asphyxiated, who, are, who have what we call neonatal encephalopathy, can benefit with acute, uh, acute neural protective intervention where their body temperature is cooled, usually to about 92 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit for about a 72 hour period. And what we're finding is that this cooling process uh, is neural protective. It allows the child to have improved survival improved survival with less neurodevelopmental delay and, and independently decreased neurodevelopmental delay in long-term follow-up studies. What are the causes of oxygen deprivation? It, there can be a clinical condition at the time of the delivery of the baby, usually what we call a perinatal event, where there is, for example, uh, an abruption, abruptial placenta, where the placenta may be uh, disengaging from the uterine wall. If that occurs acutely or suddenly, uh, the placenta pl provides uh, oxygen to the fetus, and then the, the, the fetus will be acutely subjected to lack of oxygen. When a uh, baby is subjected to lack of oxygen, their brain cells are ins insulted in, in two major ways. One is an acute, immediate death of the brain cell from lack of oxygen, and the second is, is what we call more of a delayed cell death that occurs because of the trauma or the, or the biochemical abnormalities that are induced by the asphyxia or lack of oxygen. Who can this help? Well, there are certainly strict uh, eligibility criteria, and in our community-based hospital, we pretty much follow the NICHD protocol. And if the patient is eligible, uh, the patient will be uh, placed uh, on top of a cooling blanket, and we will uh, program it to cool the child to about 92 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit. With whole body hypothermia, the, the cooling period of 72 hours uh, is, is based upon uh, a, a period of time that we feel will uh, minimize the uh, acute uh, abnormalities that, are, that the brain is subjected to. However, uh, the, the brain as well as the whole body is su still subjected to a very severe insult. And we manage a child with traditional care, traditional intensive care during that period and subsequently. Uh, what we found in the randomized clinical trials is that patients who are, sub who are uh, benefit from this period of, of neural protection long term have decreased mortality uh, and, uh, and independently decreased neurodevelopmental disability in follow-up. New technologies and procedures to help correct pediatric conditions are being developed continually, allowing these children to grow up healthier. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.